Hi, I'm Caroline Fortunato and I'm from University of Maryland, Horn Point. And I'll be showing you our first step in extracting our DNA. So when we collect our DNA, we stick them in these Cerebex filters and um, we pump water through them usually depending on how much, whether in the estuary or the coast, five liters or even less than a liter. Um, and then we put this extraction buffer, it's DNA extraction buffer, we should call it DEB for short, uh, to preserve them and we put them in the minus 80. But on this cruise we decided we're going to um, do our first step which is cracking this filter and putting a little piece of the filter into small two mil vials so we can take back to Maryland and finish our DNA extraction process. So the first thing you do, start, is first of all you want to work with all sterile tools. So we have this product called DNA Zap that we've washed everything with so there's no DNA anywhere, no residue, so it's all sterile. And so the first thing you want to do is crack your filter using some pliers. And you want to just focus on the very top of the filter, that's where the weak point is. And while you're doing that, you want to make sure the filter doesn't fly off. So you keep your finger sort of on top of it. And sometimes it can be a little tough. So once you hear that crack, just gently, you want to make, since these pliers are sterile, but they're all, they have a little bit of rust on you, make sure you don't touch the filter. And so you use these smaller ones to take the tip of the filter out of the base. And this extraction buffer you want to save. So you stick that right into your tube. And you can stick this aside. So now what you want to do is cut off this filter. So I use a sterile exacto knife and sort of cut along the edge of the filter. And you really want to minimize this exposure and not touch the filter with your hands or any other non-sterile tools. Okay. So once you've got it cut, you can use tweezers to sort of start taking it off. And you're gonna have a little bit of liquid that you kind of want to save. It's okay if you don't get all of it in there. It's a little hard. Stick those aside. So then you want to try to fit this filter in this tube. You need to cut it into small pieces. So you want to put it down on your sterile cutting board with the filter side up. So on the back of the filter. You want the outside of the filter on the inside when you fold it. So all the DNA is not being rubbed off onto the cutting board. And then you want to cut with your exacto knife, usually six to eight pieces. And then take your tube. And with your tweezers, just sort of stick them. And they can be sort of sticky, so you want to be careful not to get them stuck on your tweezer. You just stick them in the extraction buffer. And then this tube will go in the minus 80 for now, and then we continue with our extraction process when we get back to Maryland. And that's it. That's it.